Hi, I'm Mark Latender, and today in VTA, I'm going to be adding a batch of students to a team using the Assign Group feature. First, I'm going to show how quickly this can be done from the Team Students tab by using the tool. If you know your student information, and you know where your students are that you want to add to the team, the process can be done in a matter of a few clicks. So there I've just added 58 people to this team. But that was a little quick, so I'm going to go over it a little bit slower this time. And what I want to note is the filter that you're going to use is essentially all the fields that when you look at a student record, lots of fields are available for you to filter on, including the custom categories and the student's user type. So I'm going to start on a fresh team. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to go to the students tab. And if I hit assign group, all my filters are going to be available in this list. So all those student groupings and values are going to be here and available. So if you wanted to say have everybody with specific job titles, I add the job title filter. And as long as it is one of the ones that I select, it'll appear once I apply the filter. So if I click in the box, I'll see my list. And just by clicking one, it's going to send it over to my selected list. If I click one from my selected list, it'll move it back. And I can use more than one filter. So if I click a apply filter now, I see everybody that meets the criteria of the five job titles I selected. But if I wanted to filter further, and I'll just make it easy here and say the last name starts with B. Reapply it, and now I've cross filtered between anybody who has the last name that starts with B and is one of these five job titles. So the way that the filters work is going to depend on the value that you select. So an active filter, are they active or not? Badge numbers would have you enter in text just like a last name. The student groupings, which we've seen, is going to present your list of whichever group you selected. You might choose a date field. So if anybody's got a job title date, these are the only folks that meet that criteria. So once I select them all, if I hit close at this point, nobody's going to get added and the form will close. If I hit assign group, they're all going to get added and this form here will close and I'll get sent back to the grid. And if I hit new, these folks are going to get added and it'll give me a brand new form to start with. You've seen me already click the apply filter. If I had several filters added, I could either deselect them if I just wanted one to go away, or I could click the clear filter and essentially start over. Once the tool has been used in your session, you didn't click sign out and you're still in your session, if you click recall last, it'll remember the last group of students that you added. Now at the bottom here, this is going to be the team assignment date that everybody's going to get. So if you needed for some reason to forward date or back date everybody's team assignment dates, this would be the team assignment date that they would receive. Now you notice that this time, six students were added and six were not assigned. So if I click to look at the student listing.
I can see which members were already on the team. And that's how you use assigned group to add batches of students to a team.